Hi. So, it's been 50 videos since I made my first manga collecting video. That's pretty crazy. Oh, and we've also almost hit a thousand subscribers. Again, insane. So I thought maybe now is the time to kick off a brand new series that's going to detail how my manga collecting's going, my goals going forward, and some major improvements to the collection. There's going to be challenges. There's going to be growth in the collection. And most of all, it's going to give me an opportunity to talk to you guys about manga collecting and take you along for the ride. This is my manga collecting journey. But obviously, before we set forth into the new endeavours for the manga collection, we kind of need to take a look back at where this all started. So since this marks my 50th video on the channel, since I made my very first manga review, which was Uzumaki, I thought I'd go through the journey so far. Whilst I didn't start properly collecting manga since around a year and a half ago, the very first mangas that I bought and read was actually way before that. My very first manga that I purchased was actually actually Yu-Gi-Oh R, which was an off-branch series of Yu-Gi-Oh that detailed a brand new story that hadn't been covered by any of the anime or video games so far. Now as a kid I was a massive fan of Yu-Gi-Oh, so this was a really awesome series. It's five volumes, I read the entire thing. And it also came with these promo cards, which is just another super cool thing. After Yu-Gi-Oh R, I went and read Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh Duelist, Yu-Gi-Oh GX, and Yu-Gi-Oh 5Ds. As you can tell, I was a bit of a Yu-Gi-Oh Addict. And then there was quite a big pause for my reading. Those were probably when I was around 13 to 14 years old. But my actual reading of manga happened at about 15 when I picked up Tokyo Ghoul and Death Note, both of which I still have in my collection today. Now I picked these mangas up because I really, really enjoyed the anime. These were my first two animes that I watched and I was completely enthralled by them. So I wanted to read them in their manga format. And for a beginner, these two series were absolutely fantastic. They got me hooked into the idea of anime and manga. The hook hadn't sunk itself deep enough for me to dive into what you see today. <laughs> now this is mainly due to the fact that the majority of my money was spent on video games at the time and I didn't have a load of expendable income to buy hundreds of books. So after reading Tokyo Ghoul and Death Note, I kind of faded away. That sounds like I died, what the fuck? My interest in reading manga kind of faded away and instead I watched a little bit more anime, played a lot of video games until 2020. Now 2020, what a year. <laughs> Whilst the entire world was struggling with lockdowns and COVID-19, Leon over here decided to catch an interesting disease called tuberculosis. <laughs> Now this isn't something I've talked about on the channel before, but yeah, all through 2020 I was extremely ill with TB and it was during this time that I actually started this YouTube channel. If you go back and look at some of my old videos, I look ghastly. I asked you to recommend me a manga. Why the f*** did you recommend me this one? But it was also a time where because we were in lockdown and because I was unwell, I actually had quite a lot of expendable income. And that is how we came to this. <laughs> so the very first point when I started collecting was actually in my manga haul video. It's all the way back on this channel where I picked up a manga haul off Gumtree. It might have been off Facebook Marketplace, but I picked up this bundle of manga that included things like Vagabond Volume 2, Full Metal Alchemist. What else did it even have in it? I can't even remember. And One Punch Man. Now I bought these manga because they were super cheap and I didn't have much to do. So I thought, let's get into reading some of this and these manga really sparked the interest inside me. Mm. Sus. So throughout 2020, I began to read manga for the first time since I was about 15. And I started off with Full Metal Alchemist and My Hero Academia. And I also bought the first three volumes of V-Stars. My Hero Academia was the series that really hooked me and got me into reading. I absolutely pummeled through, I believe, the first 20 volumes, I want to say, of that. And then I went into hospital. Bum bum bum! Oh no, what are we gonna do? Now, now, me being in hospital, I wasn't gonna let that stop me. I was spending absolutely no money on any bills or food or anything, so I had a lot of money to spend on manga. And I also had a lot of time to trawl through Facebook Marketplace and pick up every single deal that I could find. And that's when this video happened. <laughs> Whilst I was in hospital, I basically filled the corner of a bedroom with boxes of manga, ready for me to unbox once I got home 
and better. And that's what that video entailed. Me picking up some awesome series and a load of new stuff. And that's kind of where the collecting went down the rabbit hole. I was now addicted to collecting manga and reading the manga that I was collecting, albeit a lot slower than I was buying it. And having a lot of manga meant I needed somewhere to put it all, which puts us onto our next chapter of the story when I bought this place. <laughs> this place being my house. I bought my house at 20 years old, moved in swiftly after, and began to fill it up with all the manga that I'd collected. Over this time, I did loads of manga hauls, especially ones from places like Books, where I picked up series like Goodnight Pumpin, Blade of the Immortal, Vagabond, Berserk, and now I'd started filling up my collection with some of the most highly recommended and most sought after manga. This was also the time when I started reading one of my favourite series, 20th Century boys. This was the kind of first series that I read all the way through and finished. Absolutely adored it and it made me want to pick up some of Naoki Urasawa's other works like Monster and Pluto, both of which I've now finished. So yeah, from there it was just consistent manga hauls, buying new volumes, pre-ordering new stuff, getting deals online and that is how I built the collection that I have today. So in regards to my manga collecting journey, that's where I am right now. Now I just want to recap on two important things about my collection and that is my favourite series and also my favourite thing inside the collection. And I think every time I do these videos I want to see if these change. I have a feeling for a while they won't but for now we're going to go through them. So my favourite series and I don't think this will come as a surprise to anyone who's been watching the most recent videos. It's Berserk. Now I'm not going to talk too much on Berserk because I'm going to make a video covering this series because I adore it so much. But Berserk is not only the best manga I've ever read, I believe it's the best bit of fiction I have ever consumed in my entire life. It's a story about rage, revenge, hope, redemption, family, friends. It is a fantasy world filled with violence and horror, but also of beauty and sometimes even happiness. Berserk is so amazing and I can't wait to speak to you more about it, but yeah, for now Berserk by far are my favourite series. Bearing that in mind, my prized possession might be a little bit strange because it's not my Berserk collection. It's actually my 20th Century Boys singles. These are probably the most money I've spent on any edition like per volume and I absolutely adore them. I loved the series so much. I'm so glad I picked it up when I did. And also these editions are not only out of print and sought after, but they're so attractive on the shelf. I just love it and it's definitely the highlight of my collection so far. So where are we going next on this manga collecting journey? There's a couple of series that I want to finish and are going to be my targets going into 2023 to get every single volume of and also to read them to completion or up to date depending on what the series is. The first one on here is Vinland Saga. I've been recommended it by so many people. I have the first three volumes but I want to carry on collecting this because I think it's going to be right up my alley. It's a Viking story which I'd love because I'm a massive fan of Norse mythology and also it's this adult sign and it's often compared to Berserk. I'm sure I'm gonna love it and I want to continue reading new releases as they come out. I might not buy them all because space and money and stuff but I do want to carry on reading new things and broadening my horizons and I love bringing the first impressions videos to you guys so those are definitely going to continue. And in regards to space I really want to upgrade this setup out of this room so potentially if that happens in the next year I'll take you guys along for the journey in building a brand new space to house my manga collection. And last but definitely not least and most important of all, I want to carry on taking you guys along with me for the journey. Seeing the new mangas I'm reading, what I'm thinking of them, the new stuff I'm collecting and really just deep diving some of my favourite series and sharing my love for this hobby and this form of literature with you guys. It's been absolutely freaking amazing these last last two years, 50 videos, 1000 subscribers. It's been awesome. I am thankful for every single one of you for joining me on this trip. 
so far. As always, if you've enjoyed the video, please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be alerted every single time that I upload. If you want to have your own manga collecting journey, there's links down in the description to some websites where you can purchase manga. They're all affiliate links, so anything you buy will benefit me monetarily. All the money goes back into the channel to carry on providing awesome content to you guys, and it doesn't cost you any extra, so it'd be much appreciated. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.